the latest fashion collections by Chanel, Dior, and Iman Ayissi have one thing in common. They all showcase pieces made with raffia. While the Parisian luxury brands prefer using the straw material in its natural color, designer Iman Ayissi loves his in bright colors. His creations are elegant with a rustic touch. Raffia is very versatile. With these dresses, we used it to crochet patterns. But you can also flatten the raffia, like here, with this dress. I like to call this raffia whips. It's a completely different style. Iman Ayesi combines craftsmanship from various African regions with the high art of couture. His raffia in its raw shape is sourced from Cameroon, Gabon and Madagascar, and then processed in his studio in southern France. Raffia is a natural fiber won from palm leaves. Iman Ayesi knows it well from Cameroon, where he grew up. What I really like about raffia is its raw and rustic feel. And at the same time, the material has something very structural to it. And it carries a cultural aspect, too. Raffia reminds me of my childhood and of many happy moments, like the traditional dances in grass skirts. Parisian designer Clemence Goudard likes to carry a bag made from raffia everywhere she goes. No wonder, it's her own creation. She discovered the material while working for a humanitarian NGO in Madagascar. She was so thrilled by it that she founded her own label in 2015, specializing in raffia bags. Raffia can easily be combined with other materials, like cotton or silk. I also use it together with lorex. In other words, it's a material that you can treat almost exactly like you would a fabric. Clemence Gouda handbags are available in all shapes and sizes. I find inspiration everywhere, on the streets, at fashion shows, and also in movies. I like the old American classics. Art inspires me too. I go to see a lot of exhibitions. And I'm in the museum a lot. The bags are produced in her two studios on the African island of Madagascar. There are currently 60 women working for the brand. One bag costs between 100 and 250 euros. The workers here earn five times the average wage on Madagascar. Throughout production, societal and sustainable aspects remain a priority. When I was there, I realized how rich the tradition of crafts on the island was, and how many techniques there are for working with raffia that are completely unknown to us. Raffia is very present in everyday life. The women use it to decorate their houses or to make mats. I wanted to give these people the opportunity to work with their native materials and traditional techniques. Now these natural materials have caught the attention of haute couture. They are all the rage, whether as bags or as clothing on international runways. The newest designs by Aman Ayissi and Good People are regularly showcased in well-known fashion magazines and are not only intended for breezy summer outfits. This black couture dress or this bag would look striking worn in autumn or winter.